Okay guys, welcome to this video. Um, I'm gonna show you here how to optimize your YouTube videos. Now as you can see, um, a lot of Timmy time here on, uh, on my YouTube channel, that's because my son uh, hijacks uh, my phone and watches Timmy time. It's his favorite show. Uh, but anyhow, what I wanna do is I wanna show you something really cool, okay? Um, so if you search for Ikea, um, you will see that the uh, for a second video second video is is uh, our video okay so I uploaded this three weeks ago and if I load this video um, you'll see that uh, you know we're not going to watch the whole video but it's got 31 likes and uh, it's been watched a ton of time and you'll see that it it actually ranks number one and number two for a lot of different uh, search terms. Some of them are very competitive, like the keyword IKEA. And this is in uh, incognito mode, uh, but you can see IKEA Vimli unboxing, Vimli, which is the name of the sofa that we assembled, uh, IKEA Vimli. Um, we're showing up just for IKEA, as you just saw. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, I've gotten no backlinks into this video at all. I just edited the video and put in a thumbnail and did exactly what I'm going to uh, share with you, okay? So as part of this module, you'll see a link to TubeBuddy, okay? Now that's a really cool tool that uh, puts this uh, TB TubeBuddy Videolytics on top of YouTube so you can see what's going on. It allows you to explore uh, different, uh, different things. So when I'm doing a video, I'm going to show you how uh, I'm uploading a, an Animoto video. So one of the free ways that you can just do some quick research, um, keyword tool, is go to keywordtool.io. Okay. And we're going to be uploading an Animoto uh, tutorial. And uh, this is just one of the one of the parts of the free module uh, that we're that we're um, allowing some people to sample uh, for for mhub okay so I'm gonna search for Animoto okay and I'm gonna change this to the United States and I'm actually gonna change it to YouTube okay and of course I gotta do that again Animoto okay so we're gonna click search all right now this is just the free version of Animoto but you can see some of these different keywords that are showing up, Animoto video, review, intro, music, app, uh, memorial video, trial, alternative, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. Now you can see that most of these ones start with, uh, with the, you know, there's some ease. Uh, so the ones before you start seeing all the A's, um, these, are the, these are the most, uh, most search. And then it, it searches for B, uh, you know, C, D, um, and this is that kind of predictive search that uh, you may see on Google or YouTube where you type something and then, you know, if you typed Animoto D, then it would show all these, these kind of ones here um, that are under D. And so that's how this tool actually works. But um, it, sh it, it can just give you a good idea of what people are searching for. Another uh, thing that's particularly good for YouTube is clicking on the questions. And sometimes you will get some uh, you know some great answers here, uh, great questions, and sometimes you don't. But questions are generally great to do to build video videos around um, if you're doing something on YouTube. So how Animoto works, um, and of course you can copy them and all that kind of thing. I'm just going to do a quick search on, uh, on on the Google one, and you can see we got some more uh, some more things here. So I'm going to actually. Um, uh, focus in on uh, Animoto tutorial, okay? Because that's kind of what my, my video is about. So I'll just do a search on this, um, how to use Animoto tutorial. So I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Um, and also if you go to YouTube, uh, you can search for Animoto and you see these are gonna be the most searched uh, keywords, right? So let's do Animoto tutorial. Okay, with TubeBuddy installed, and this is just a, a free add-on, um, and there's there's a couple paid uh, versions of it, but let's just talk about the free add-on right now. Gives you search volume, 
gives you competition there, you know, uh, overall. Um, and by the way, I, I want to show you just just for IKEA, just for sake of, of uh, argument, you'll see that it's it's very bad. Um, so there's a lot of search volume, but it's very competitive. So just doing this the right way can give you some great ideas and some great boost in your uh, in your uh, YouTube SEO. All right, so we're gonna do a search actually for Animoto tutorial. Okay, that's the keyword I'm gonna go for. And you'll see that here are some of the related searches. So these are good to keep in mind, uh, looking at some of the different tags people use. Okay, um, and you can look at uh, some of the keyword stats, see the most views of everything on this results search page. Uh, you know, just to give you a, a, an idea of how competitive it is. Um, you know, least subscribers is four on this page. Uh, so let's see which, uh, I'm not sure which one that would be, but one of these videos on this first page only has four subscribers. Uh, could be, could be, uh, it could be this one. Let's see. 130 subscribers. You know, so certainly, you know, not, uh, not that difficult to, uh, to necessarily optimize for. And, you know, with optimization, you already know exactly how you're going to rank because, you know, there are other factors in place. You know, they do listen to the audio. Um, you know, do I mention the words uh, Animoto tutorial in the video? That's another thing to keep in mind. But what we're going to do is the first thing that you're going to do is create a thumbnail. So I'm going to go to Snappa. And um, this actually has a, a free version that I actually created the version uh, of the, of the um, IKEA thumbnail on. And uh, so I'm just going to log into my account here on Snappa. Uh, I've since actually upgraded, but you can do this all with the free version. Okay. So I like the layout here. I uh, just click YouTube thumbnail and you'll have a bunch of different options to choose from. You might recognize this one. Okay, um, so what you can do is, uh, let's just you know pick this one for, uh, for the sake of example. Okay, so you can change the background um, and you can actually add uh, the image and, uh, and all that stuff as well. Uh, change effects, change the text, change the graphics and, uh, and the shapes, right? So you can actually start with just a blank canvas and just choose a background, just choose like a pattern. Um, but what, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to actually, um, you know, put, a, a, an image there, right? So let's first get the Animoto logo. So I'm going to use this under the fair use, um, uh, policy. So I'm going to find a, a logo, uh, because if people are looking for, uh, for that, then it's going to, it's going to pop. So I'm going to look at Animoto and uh, I can see here that it's a white background, uh, which is what I want um, because otherwise if I put it on, on, uh, on transparent, um, it might be a little bit, uh, a little bit challenging to, uh, to find. Okay. So if you want to find something transparent, uh, I would search for transparent and then you'll see uh, this one might be uh, transparent and it doesn't appear to be. Uh, these ones actually don't appear. This one is transparent. Okay, so when you see something like this, it's transparent. And if I put this, um, you know, unless it was on a dark background, uh, then it, it wouldn't really pop. Um, so that's how that works. Okay, but in this case, we're going to do um, add an image. And uh, this is a really simple one because you can actually just add in a, uh, a straight image of, uh, of something. Um, so we will do, we'll just find a, uh, a picture, okay? And I can change it like that and it can put in uh, this picture, right? Um, now I'm gonna upload a graphic as well. I'm gonna upload an image. And I'm going to grab that uh, Animoto uh, logo. Okay. I'm going to pop it in here. Okay. So now we got uh, Animoto. And uh, you do want to keep in mind, you want this kind of big enough 
so the people can uh, can see. So I'm just going to change this. I mean, this is very simple. I'm going to keep this very simple. Um, uh, new for 2018. Um, Manimoto, and I'm going to stretch that out. I'm going to reposition it a bit. You can change the, um, you know, the the look of it. Um, you can change the color. Uh, a nice thing you can do to also make it pop is just to to add a, um, a shadow, and uh, you know you can do whatever color that you want the uh, the shadow in. Um, I guess it looks pretty nice and dark. And brand new for 2018. So I could do that, or I could uh, change, you know, change the size here um, as I see fit. And a moto, and I'm going to get rid of this one, and I'm going to change this to. Animoto tutorial. Okay. And that looks okay. Um, I think I'm going to make this bigger. Make it nice and big. And we can also look for any kind of graphics. Uh, so if you want to add text, uh, you can do that. You can add uh, certain effects there. And you can also search for graphics. So let's say I'm looking for a, a movie icon or something like that. All right? So uh, I could um, put in something like that. I click that and then I can drag it here and put it there. Or right, I don't love that one. I want to go back, make another one. Let's uh, let's just click this one. Reposition it. So this is all very basic, uh, very easy uh, to do. Now let's say maybe the background. You know, I want uh, want something different. Um, something more dramatic. Let's say we want something uh, on the beach. Um, and again, you can. Uh, reposition uh, a lot of this stuff, make it bigger, smaller. All right, that's kind of eye-catching. I don't, I don't love the, uh, the font here, but uh, you know, we're not gonna, we're not gonna worry too much about that. Uh, the most important thing is that you have a nice um, uh, a custom thumbnail. You know, just having a custom thumbnail makes a huge, huge difference. Um, so, brand new for 2018. All right, not perfect, but you know. Um, the point of this isn't isn't to design a perfect thing, so I'm just going to uh, call this um, Animoto. Click Enter so I can uh, save it, and then I'm going to download it. Okay, you can do a web optimized JPG or a PNG; either will be fine. And so I've got that uh, downloaded. Okay, so now I've got that downloaded. What we're going to do is we're actually going to upload this 
as a uh, as a YouTube video. Okay, so I'm going to click upload. So this is the uh, the PNG um, thumbnail. So Animoto tutorial thumbnail. Okay, and so when we actually upload, um, we're going to click. Uh, let's go back here. So click upload. Okay, and I'm going to select the video to upload, and I've named it my keyword. Okay, which is important. All right, so I'm gonna do the title, right? Okay, and you can actually use um, emoji in this, so uh, let's say I wanted to look at the different emoji. And this is really to, to kind of get it more clickable. Um, so let's say you wanted to do something like a uh, movie. And at the same time, uh, we're going to open just another YouTube uh, window with our keyword. Animoto tutorial. Okay. So we have this here and we can see what the other um, other options are. So how to use Animoto. Um, so I'm just going to put Animoto tutorial. Um, Twenty eighteen edition. Uh, that'll get people that are looking for something um, kind of new. And let's use the clapperboard here, and we can uh, copy the emoji and put it here. Okay. And then, as we're loading up here, you'll see that um, that there's already. Uh, two buddies provided an upload checklist, so it makes it really easy for you to just go through. And if you want some some more information about uh, you know what you what some of the options are, you can do that. Okay. Now they do like text, right? So I want to put Animoto tutorial. Um, learn how to make really cool Animoto videos using your iPhone or um, Animoto desktop platform for free. Okay. And then I'm just going to describe a little bit what Animoto is. Animoto takes static pictures and video clips and turns them into something magical. Watch this tutorial on how to create your own Animoto video. Envious. Um, and let's use an emoji here. Search uh, evil grin. Right. Um, grin. So let's see. Say evil. All right. Let's just use this one. What this does is this actually, um, just makes the text a little bit more kind of 
kind of jump out a bit. And then what I'll do is I'll link to um, Animoto. Um, and I'm just going to, uh, because I link most links on my blog, uh, I'm just going to link it through my blog. Animoto. Um, new for 2018. Joy. Um, all right. And anything you can do to build engagement is also good. So I'm going to put be sure to share your new Animoto creation here. Um, so I can see what you've done. Okay, so now we're gonna put in uh, some uh, tags, okay? And the tag tools are a little bit interesting as well because if you click, uh, so that we've done the, the description, uh, now it says descriptive tags. So we're gonna click suggestions, it's gonna pop up here and it's gonna suggest different tags that you can use, okay? So it's gonna suggest, so these are for related, so these are kind of coming from my channel. Um, and I don't have any videos about Animoto, but you know these are more um, uh, you know related to what we're actually searching for. So Animoto, how to use Animoto? Um, put Animoto tutorial, Animoto tutorial, Animoto video marketing, Animoto tutorial. Okay, and uh, so those those are already inserted. So I'm going to close that. It's already put those ones in. Uh, for me. Then what I also do is I click explore because I want to be able to search, right? Um, and so this allows me to search my keyword and explore what uh, tags that Animoto suggests. So these are the most common tags for, you know, those 10 videos that show up on the, on the first page of Animoto tutorial. Um, so I've already got Animoto, but you know, I'll put a couple of these ones in, uh, video slideshow. Uh, misspelling here, Animoto slideshow. How to use Animoto. And I'm really just going for Animoto tutorial, right? So a lot of this stuff that, that uh, you know, doesn't have the word tutorial is not gonna, not gonna make it and uh, so we're going to insert that, okay, and close that. Still got some room for uh, for more. Tutorial 2018. I've already got that one in there. Um, let's see, Animoto tutorial. Yeah, so we've got a lot of the ones that uh, that we have. But let's go back. This is where we go back. So how to use Animoto tutorial. So I'm going to add that one in. And I'm going to fill up the tags, just totally fill them up. Um, so Animoto app tutorial, okay. And what I want you to notice is um, Animoto video tutorial YouTube tutorial. Uh, what was that? Animoto video tutorial, Animoto tutorial, YouTube, and then um, Animoto uh, YouTube tutorial. Tutorial and let's do tutorial for Animoto. And I want to see if we have any how to's here, how to use Animoto. Um, yeah, all right, so that's good. So you'll see here that 
this is the tag that, that links a lot of my videos. Um, so I use that for branding purposes. But a lot of these other uh, tags are really based around a tight uh, keyword, okay? So that's really important um, to do. So we'll go over here and uh, see there's a ton of, of extra tools that you get, like they actually have a, a thumbnail generator here. Um, you can apply the, uh, the card templates and, and that stuff. Uh, monetize with ads. So if you are monetizing it, um, you can certainly do that and then um, that's gonna allow you to monetize uh, the ads and all that good stuff. So now we've added tags, uh, we've created a custom thumbnail. Okay, we gotta upload that. So you see these are the options for the thumbnail, okay? And they're okay, um, but we're gonna be at, uh, uploading our custom image. This is a big factor to uh, SEO ranking, just having your own custom image there um, is big. So the monetize settings, um, so we've actually monetized this already. We can add info cards and uh, we can add it to a playlist, okay? Playlists, again, very important uh, for that. Engaging with the video, uh, so be the first to comment on your video, like it, um, and you know if you have some, some friends, uh, send it to them so that they can uh, like it and then promote it across existing channels um, and then share on, on social media. So I'm going to publish it and then do a few of those things. Um, so just here, this is what I'm going to do. So it shares it on Twitter and Google Plus, starts the sharing happening new for 2018 um, Animoto tutorial learn how to make really cool your videos super easy okay so here's my thumbnail um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click publish Okay, now I've published it. I'm gonna actually return to editing. I'm gonna add it to the playlist and I'm gonna add it to, uh, let's say, video editing tips, okay? And you can just add it to favorites or, or whatnot, but adding it to playlist um, is certainly big. So as you see, we're, we're checking down the list here. Um, so this, you can actually add a, an info card across all videos with that vid to, vid to promotion, promote uh, vid to vid promotions. I'm not gonna do that just for this example uh, because it would be a little bit overkill. And then uh, of course we can share the uh, video. Uh, but I am gonna engage with it and yeah, and uh, you can definitely add the info card. Now I'm not gonna actually add the info cards because it's, uh, I feel like that, that could be a whole separate video, okay? So we're just going to engage with the video. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to actually click the video um, and I'm gonna let it play, okay? Let the whole thing play. It's important, okay? Because you wanna get a full view on there, okay? Um, now I'm gathering that it's, it's flicking because of the, the recording process. But anyhow, I'm gonna click like it um, and I'm gonna comment on it. Okay, um, um, okay, I'll learn how to create awesome okay. And I'm gonna link it to my link uh, for people to sign up with Animoto. Okay, and then I'm going to comment that. Okay, some of the other things that it looks for are likes, uh, loves, if someone's loved it, um, and then pinned to the top. So I'm actually pinning this to the top. So it's pinned. All these kind of little touches 
give YouTube uh, the impression that you know it is a, an important video and it is something that you know has created some uh, some engagement okay um, so I can see that it's it's playing here um, I'm not gonna let the whole video play uh, just because then um, it would take a, a long time to do that uh, but you know we're already ranking for uh, some of these terms and we just put it up okay we're gonna share it to um, you know you can share it to some of these different uh, different channels you know um, so I'll just for example go into my LinkedIn account and I could do the same on Facebook and just share the video um, and I'm going to put in a link to you know my blog and I'm going to click uh, might as well click it and share it okay uh, so that's been shared okay um, now I can go back here and I can share it to Facebook now when you share it to Facebook um, you know Facebook hates YouTube videos so you're not gonna get a lot of views on it from this but um, uh, it is a factor that YouTube looks at um, so that's that's why I'm doing this all right so I'm gonna post that to Facebook and there we go okay so that is how you do it um, when you're uploading a video and you should see some incredible results just by following this method and you know every time you're uploading a video get the TubeBuddy um, uh, the TubeBuddy uh, add-on for you know Chrome or whatever you're using and use this exact system to actually put up your videos you're gonna see uh, some really really good results okay so we're gonna just refresh this briefly um, you'll see that we've got a lot of these kind of check marks added uh, we haven't added captions we haven't done the end screen and we haven't done the info cards and those are all things that again I could choose uh, choose to do um, and you know made you know if, if this were like an important video for you to actually get some traction and get some views and get a great rank on then I'd say definitely do those things because it does um, it does make a difference and so I think we're up here already uh, a little bit um, but the early views are important so make sure you do you know have some full views and yeah um, that's kind of it so you know if you if you just are really systematic about this and you just take the extra time each time you do a video to do a good job on the uploading and do all these little things uh, you're gonna be very well rewarded for that so let me know what you think in the comments below if you guys make a, an Animoto video I would love to, to see it um, so let me know about that also and we'll see you in the next video thanks